Hey guys, Tisha here, and we're back for another Sister Wives review. I'm letting you all know now that I skipped um, season four, episode four, because it was a bunch of question and answers. And I kind of feel like at this point, a lot of that is redundant because it's stuff that we already know or things that we've already seen, even though we've seen these episodes as well too. I don't want any more of the fluff from them. And I feel like the questions and answer period of episodes, especially in the beginning, was a lot of them dodging questions that they didn't want to ask or very surface level. So I I didn't review it. We're going to start off now with um, episode five, which was entitled Infertility and Nesting. The family is still looking for homes that are right next to each other after over a year of being in Vegas. Cody lets us know that Two of the homes in the area that they're looking to have their homes built are almost done. And the intentions are to have Janelle and Christine move into those homes if they get approved because they'll be right next to each other. They meet Tanya, who is the loan officer, and Mona, who we know is their real estate agent. As they're talking about the homes and how much they're looking forward to being in them, Robin mentions that it would be a great um, payoff to have these homes as a sign that moving from uh, Utah was like God saying, I told you I was going to take care of you. I told you all before, I am a believer, but I hate when people try to always like make excuses for the things that they've done and act like it's something that came from divinity versus the fact that it was a choice that they made on their own. The loan officer wants everyone to come into her office and make sure that they have all their paperwork and all their documentation. Janelle makes it known immediately that she already has all of her things together. We hear how the one home in Lehigh changed their lives. Cody said that he didn't think that they would even be able to qualify to purchase it back then, but with the four of them, they were able to do it. And I think part of the reason why he said the four of them is because even though when we were introduced to Christine, we were told that she was a stay-at-home mom, there was a portion where she was pregnant and she was working nights which is why Aspen used to help put the children to bed and things of that nature because Cody didn't get a nanny for Christine. So all four of them was what allowed them to get that one home. We hear again about, you know, Janelle's hopes and she's hoping that they can get this home soon enough for Logan to get in there and for him to be attached to the home and for him to want to stay. They know that he can go to schools anywhere, but they're hoping that based on this home that they get, that he'll want to stay in Vegas. Now we know he decides to stay in Vegas, but I don't think it had anything to do with the home. I think some of it had to do with his family because Logan was very hands-on with his family. The loan officer lets us know that she's doesn't have a problem with them being polygamous and that she is going to have to file both Cody and Mary together because they're legally married and the rest of the women will have to file separate. She says that um, she can have an answer if they turn in their paperwork on on time, like within the next couple days, as soon as two weeks and they can be moved in as soon as a month uh, for the houses that are built. Cody wants them to really believe in this, to feel like they can get in this because he said that they've had heartbreaks before and they've survived it. He's crying a little bit and emotional during this scene. I do think that he meant that. I do think at this point in life, Cody was somewhat tapping into his religious beliefs. We know that the family has been working on owning their own fitness center. Um, I think it was called uh, Fundamental Fitness. So Janelle is seen at home working on the proposal. We hear from Janelle that they did have an investor, 
but he side, he decided to go another direction. I think that he probably decided to go another direction because it was too many cooks in the kitchen. Either that or he saw them on TV and was like, uh-uh, this is, this is not going to work. But he decided to go a different route. Maybe it was more lucrative. There could be many reasons. Janelle talks about how eight months ago she wasn't capable of doing the things that she's able to do now. How being in the gym and how working out and how meeting Bill, because that's her trainer, has made her excited about life again. She says that the the main reason why she wanted this is because she's became very passionate about it and because she wants a fitness center that doesn't just cater to people who are already fit, but she wants a space that allows people who are out of shape to feel welcomed as well. Janelle is ready to present her business plans to the family. And she said that she knows sometimes they'll knock certain ideas down when they do this, but overall she thinks it's gonna go well. We then see Janelle at the home presenting the business plan to all the family members and Janelle was surprised by the way that Cody responded. One thing that this reminds me of with Cody like kind of shutting down the idea once he found more about pricing and things of that nature is that Cody doesn't do anything or complete any task that requires him to put work into it. Think about it. When he he first told us that he wanted to be in real estate, he never did that. He he just he hops around this gym thing, even though it, it was kind of his idea. He once he hears prices, he doesn't want to do that. He wants a quick and he wants an easy fix. Janelle lets him know that based on the pricing of, of equipment and I guess the building, that she's anticipating that they're gonna need to have about a thousand people to have paid memberships. Now I don't know if she means that they're gonna need a thousand people to sign up to pay off one month thing or to pay off the entire mortgage for the the whole month i i the whole year but it was an alarming number to cody because cody says to invest twenty two thousand dollars into something just seems like a lot i was chuckling a little bit when she talked about thousand members because maybe she'll run into um people like me who have memberships but haven't gone in a in several months i'm gonna go i'm gonna go back in there i'm just gonna have to braid my hair up but i'm i'm gonna go back in there i'm i'm going back to the gym you guys i don't know when but it's gonna happen <laughs> cody says we don't know what we're doing with this and they're gonna want us to sign for the rent so failure to me equals bankruptcy Christine said that this meeting was very frustrating to her because what she's realized over the years, if Cody doesn't want to do something, then it loses power and they just end up not doing it. So suddenly Cody no longer wants to do the investment in this business or to do this business at all because he doesn't feel like it's feasible. I understand that they thought that they previously had an investor, but I do believe that they should have looked into how much this would cost before it got to this point. I don't know what the timeline was on when they decided that they wanted to do their own fitness center, but I know it's been several months. So for Cody to be the man that he, he claims to be and part of the financial duo that is him and Janelle, I would think that he would have looked into some of this earlier on. He says that um, other businesses seem like they would be way more profitable than what this business is and I said okay profitable like the sister wife's closet <laughs> like that Cody because that seemed to be really really profitable he wants Janelle to sell it to him and Janelle doesn't feel like she should have to sell it to her to him I don't blame her I agree if he was the one who originally wanted this then he should have already been thinking about all of that and rather than just coming out and saying he doesn't want to do it. I think he's using the finances as an excuse. He's looking for Janelle to agree in this moment when she's saying that um, he doesn't think that it's going to be feasible, but Janelle doesn't agree. He adds that it was originally his idea. He's the one who wanted to have the fitness center. 
what does that matter? There was no point in saying that because Cody did not complete the task. Okay. That's the end of that. Janelle says she's going to work on it, the proposal some more, and see if she can figure out some other things as far as financing goes. So, this is where I get annoyed. Because we see Cody and Mary going to the fertility clinic, despite Mary telling us on her anniversary over a year ago that the idea of having more children was out of her head. So why did Robin reopen this door to Mary to possibly have a baby when she already said on her 20th anniversary that she didn't want any more and she was finally okay with it? I'm officially annoyed. Mary is considering Cody's feelings about her having another baby and I don't understand why, because it's not like he doesn't already have all these other kids and like he has two new babies. I'm still annoyed. She goes to meet her OBGYN to find out what it could take in order for her to get pregnant. And I don't understand the purpose of this because Mary had told us already in confessionals, in front of her sisters, as she was sitting there talking to Cody when they were in Hawaii, that they've already been down this route. So why are you sitting here now talking to the OBGYN like you did not know that the OBGYN was then going to refer you to a, a specialist? We hear about how they tried for over a year and that Mary couldn't get pregnant. Then Cody got married to Janelle and was able to get her pregnant and have uh, Logan with her. Then Mary let, her, let us know that after because of how quickly Janelle was able to get pregnant for him after their marriage versus her, that that's when she started having some anger issues, which it makes sense. I don't feel like she should be angry at Janelle. She might have been angry at Janelle. She might have been married about God, mad at God, but either way, she was angry. Then Christine married Cody one month before Logan was born. So, I said in the last episode, Cody's idea of romance is to uh, take his wives out on hot chocolate or his soon-to-be wives um, out for hot chocolate. And now we know that Cody's idea of courting is to do so while another wife is pregnant because here he is, he did it with, with Janelle when he married Christine. And now he did it with... Uh, Christine, when he married Mary, I'm sitting here feeling so bad for Christine, but Christine did the same thing to Janelle. I'm just saying, I'm going to call it like I call, I want to call it. And like I see it, even though I like Christine, she, Janelle had a reason to, to feel jealous as well. Then, uh, I think she, Mary said like a month after Christine got married to Cody, she was pregnant. I know for a fact that a lot of women who wait for a long time or for a significant amount of time to um, have intercourse, they do tend to get quick, really, really preg to get get quick to get pregnant very, very quickly once they get married. I'm a prime example of that. My mom got uh, pregnant during her honeymoon, literally, and she also waited till she was in her let her her. Her, I'm telling all her business. Y'all, I'm getting too comfortable with you guys. She waited until she was married. <laughs> um, and she was significantly in her 20s. And she she got pregnant with me real early. But enough of me telling my business. Let's get back to my notes. So Mary was hurt and she was mad because everybody else was having babies. And she wasn't. And it caused a lot of tension with the wives and probably her husband as well. Mary said when she saw how much work went into Logan, that she got into a point where, and Christine's baby, of course, she got to a point where she was okay with not having a baby. When she told Cody that she was okay with not having a baby, Cody tells her, don't give up and ha. Huh? Those were his two responses. So once again, it's always 
Cody's desires that are considered more. And I'm not saying that you should not consider your, your spouse's opinion, but I feel like she or the wives seem to be the only ones that are considering his opinion. He often doesn't consider theirs. I'm not saying that Mary wasn't being truthful, um, but in that very moment, how she felt was that she didn't want to have any more kids and she was okay with not having kids. So if it changed, it changed. He said, and, and she agreed, that once the pressure was off, she was able to conceive. I will say that that also happens uh, frequently. That sometimes the stress that is caused while a woman is trying to conceive and the the checking for this and the checking for that does take away from the body's ability to conceive. And there have been instances where women are able to conceive once they stop stressing about it. Mary thought that after she had Leon, that it would be easy for her to conceive again. And it did not happen. I always thought that Leon looked like Mary, but in these pictures, I realized that Leon looks a lot like Cody. Um, when Leon was 12, so Mary went 12 years after giving birth, and then she found out that she was pregnant again. At 10 weeks, they went in for a checkup, all excited, and they found out from the doctor that the um, fetus was not viable. Mary was frustrated and angry and she didn't understand why after another 12 years of trying, it didn't work out. She's she's crying really, really badly while she's saying this. There are a lot of mothers and fathers who have went down this uh, road and wonder why certain babies didn't make it. And as hard as it is to say, everything happens for a reason. And I'm not trying to be insensitive to anyone who's experienced um, loss. I've experienced a loss in that manner, so I completely understand it. I just believe in my personal opinion that everything happens for a reason. I'll never quite understand what the reason is, but I know for me, that was the way that I got through it. The OBGYN says you got to do... Um, hormonal work and get your tu your tubes checked and all these other things and they need to be done at an infertility specialist to find out what's the best option for you. We then see them at the fertility office and the first question that the specialist asked is, how often do you have intercourse? Mary says timing isn't an issue for them, but it is an issue. It has to be an issue. This man has three other wives and there's only a certain window where a woman is ovulating and can become pregnant. So what if he's on rotation during a time period that you're not ovulating? Then what? It does matter, but Mary felt uncomfortable with the question. So because she felt uncomfortable with the question, she hurried up and answered it that way. I'm tired of hearing about how private and personal sex is. No one is asking you the ins and outs of your relationship. No one wants to know, like, do you do this and do you do that? And when you do this and when you... Nobody wants to know that. All she's asking is... How often are you all being intimate? Because it does matter. Um, even, slight off topic, even in the, the episode four that I didn't cover, one of the questions that was asked was, do you all practice certain precautions when it comes to pregnancy? Do you all use protection of things of that nature? Automatically, they thought that, that was too personal. But I don't think the person wanted to know whether or not they used condoms. I think the person wanted to know whether or not they were okay with birth control. You all can correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments. But there are some religions that are against birth control. That they feel like that's a tactic that you're not supposed to use. 
So it was a valid question that it was just a simple, uh, yeah, we, we practice uh, contraception or no, we don't. But these wives feel like it's too much to even think about the fact that y'all are all sleeping with the same man. So me personally, if I was in that situation, because of what happens, especially with women's bodies, I would want to know whether or not my husband was being safe with his with the other wives. There's different uh, hormones. There's different pH balances. There's a whole bunch of things that go on down there. And me personally, I want to know, which is another reason why I'm not knowingly, <laughs> if you saw one of my other episodes, a polygamist. All right. I'm I'm really rambling today. Let me get, I said it a few times. I hope y'all, let me know if you get annoyed when I get off topic. So the um, specialist lets them know that what happens is they, you get medicine for 12 days at day 10 or, or 12 after like 10 or 12 days after the medicine has been in your system, the eggs are retrieved through a vaginal probe with a needle on the end of it. It takes about 30 minutes. They then take what they got from the, the probe, which is like fluid and eggs, and then they have the embryologist in, um, inject the egg with sperm. They haven't spoken about money yet, but Mary wants to get another opinion. Mary says that she wants to feel at peace before she makes the decision. She doesn't want to go through another loss. And this is the part that I felt like was so selfish because Cody has seen over the years how much Mary has struggled with trying to get pregnant, with seeing other babies, all these other things. I think Mary finally got to a place where she was okay with it. Even when finding out that Robin was pregnant, Mary was legitimately excited. Mary didn't hesitate to get clothing for Solomon and put it in the room. Mary was okay with just being another mom to that child, but Robin killing the moment with putting this thing back on her mind and Cody pressuring Mary to feel like she needs to give him another baby is frustrating to me. You all let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. We're on the road to 400. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time.